What is up everyone, Big Juicy Hog here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about some changes that Blizzard is making to multi-boxers going forward and how this is going to affect you as an aspiring WoW gold maker. Let's get into it. So first, I just want to read the blue post to you guys directly. As World of Warcraft has evolved, our policies have also evolved to support the health of the game and the needs of the players. We've examined the use of third-party input broadcasting software, which allows a single keystroke or action to be automatically mirrored to multiple game clients. And we've seen an increasingly negative impact to the game as the software is used to support botting and automated gameplay. The use of input broadcasting software that mirrors keystrokes to multiple WoW game clients will soon be considered an actionable offense. We believe this policy is in the best interest of the game and the community. We will soon be issuing warnings to all players who are detected using input broadcasting software to mirror commands to multiple accounts at the same time, often used for multiboxing. With these warnings, we intend to notify players that they should not use this software while playing World of Warcraft. Soon thereafter, the warnings will escalate to account actions, which can include suspension and, if necessary, permanent closure of the player's World of Warcraft accounts. We strongly advise you to cease using this type of software immediately to maintain uninterrupted access to World of Warcraft. Thank you for your understanding. So basically, in order to help the health of the community as a whole, they're sweeping up multi-boxers to help with the botter problem as well. As anyone who farms knows, botters are a problem on every server. If they're botting and multi-boxing, then they're probably tanking the server economy with their thousands of gathered materials. I know there are probably going to be some mad multi-boxers out there, but let's be honest. It took Blizzard 16 years to get to this point. Unless you just freshly started a new multi-box, you have more than gotten your money's worth. If this is the price the community has to pay to help be rid of botters, sorry guys. It seems like they'll at least give you a warning before any banning goes on. So, how does this potentially affect your ability to make gold, assuming that you aren't actually a multi-boxer, of course? Well, there should be more market space for you, and the prices on items should maintain a higher price as there are less botters and or multi-boxers flooding the market. This also means that there should be a little bit less risk when you try to reset a market, as less botters means you're probably not going to get flooded with another large pile of raw materials. I know that there are those people out there in the WoW gold making community that are or have been multi-boxers. The thing is, at this point, those people are probably rich beyond comprehension, and all of this is just a hobby at this point. Unless they're doing real money trading, then it isn't really going to hurt them. If they are doing real money trading, well good. In conclusion, this is a hit to a very small percentage of players who had the ability to cause a very large disruption to farming and selling. This is a quality of life change that should be a big improvement for us normies that do all of our farming from a single account. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. What do you think of the changes to multiboxing? Leave a comment below and I will catch you in the next video.